Have you ever felt let down or even betrayed by someone you thought was a true friend? Picture this. You're excited about a new project you're working on. You share the details with this friend hoping for some encouragement, but instead you're met with indifference, even negativity. That stings, doesn't it? You've been there for them, but in your moment of need, they seem far from supportive. With that said, here are the types of fake friends to avoid at all costs. The freeloaders. Have you ever noticed how some friends only seem to appear when they need something? Picture this. You've scored tickets to the hottest concert of the year and suddenly that friend who's been MIA for months is back, acting like your best buddy. But once the show's over, they're back to being distant. Sociologist Dr. Karen Fingerman calls these people freeloaders. She says they're more into the benefits you offer than your friendship. They might leave you feeling used and undervalued. Does it sound familiar? Remember, true friends value your presence, not your possessions. The one-uppers. Do you know someone who always seems to one-up you? Imagine sharing your good news about a promotion and they immediately jump in with their own better accomplishments. Psychology professor at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, Dr. Susan Whitborn, suggests that these one-uppers are likely dealing with their own insecurities. They try to outdo you, which can be a real blow to your self-esteem. But remember, their need to compete isn't a reflection of you, but of their own insecurities. Your achievements are significant and worthy of celebration. The drama magnets. Ever had a friend who's a magnet for drama? One minute you're enjoying coffee, the next you're caught in their latest exaggerated crisis. It's exhausting, isn't it? Relationship expert Dr. John Gottman warns that these drama magnets often cause unnecessary stress by blowing small issues out of proportion. It can be emotionally draining to be around them. If you find yourself constantly playing the role of the calm in their storm, it might be time to reassess that friendship. The gossip mongers. Ever felt uneasy around a friend who loves to gossip? You've trusted them with a secret only to find out it's made the rounds. Feels like betrayal, right? Psychology professor Dr. Frank McAndrew points out that these gossip mongers often prioritize the thrill of gossip over maintaining trust in friendships. It's hard to feel safe around them, isn't it? Remember your feelings are valid and it's okay to step back from friendships that consistently make you feel uncomfortable. After all, Genuine friendships are built on respect, trust, and mutual understanding. The fair weather friends. Ever notice how some friends are only around when everything's going well? That time you needed support during a rough patch, they were nowhere to be found. Psychiatrist Dr. Robert Rowney explains that these fair weather friends aren't really invested in your well-being. It's a lonely feeling, isn't it? A true friend should be there with you not just in good times, but also when you're navigating through life's challenges. If they're absent during your struggles, they might not be the friends you deserve. The one-way friend. Does it seem like you're always the one making efforts in your friendship? You're constantly there for them, but they vanish when you need them. It feels unfairly one-sided, doesn't it? Counselor and professor, Dr. Suzanne Dick is white, describes these relationships as draining and potential sources of resentment. She believes true friendships involve equal contributions from both sides. If you're constantly giving with little return, it might be time to reevaluate. Remember, you deserve a friendship that values you, not treats you as an afterthought. Isn't that what genuine friendship should be like? The negative Nellies. Ever notice a friend who constantly downplays your achievements and dampens your spirits? Perhaps they always seem to find the dark cloud around every silver lining draining the joy from your moments of success. Psychologist Dr. Elaine Hatfield highlights that chronic negativity can significantly decrease your overall happiness and satisfaction. It's essential to surround yourself with friends who uplift you, not those who incessantly pull you down. Remember, you deserve a friend who celebrates your victories with genuine happiness, rather than one who subtly belittles them. A true friend will be your cheerleader, sharing in your joy and bolstering your confidence. So, have you experienced any of these signs with someone? Feel free to comment down below. You can also share this video with someone who might relate to it. Until next time, take care and remember, you matter.